So how will the city manage without Pep? First of all, a huge congratulations to Manchester City and all of their fans for an incredible result at the weekend, winning the Champions League and completing the treble. The question I'd be asking here is, what will happen when Pep leaves City? So my understanding is that he's currently contracted until 2025, just under two years left on his contract. And I also understand that at this present time, he is anticipating to stay with the club until the end of his contract. But what can City do or what should City be doing right now to prepare for when Pep leaves so that they avoid a situation like what happened at Manchester United when Sir Alex Ferguson stepped away? Now, with United, who were the first to win the treble, as I hear many of you say, um, when Sir Alex Ferguson actually retired and stepped away from the club, we all know what happened next and the fantastic success most certainly didn't continue. Now, Pep and Fergie are two amazing managers. Um, they've been able to create these incredible cultures with the team of players and lead them to, to many successes. But what I don't see, that we do see more often in business, is that when an extraordinary culture is created, there's also the creation of progression planning and succession planning, so that financial success, as in business, that is achieved, isn't reliant on a person or a group of people, and actually the structures and processes in place that ensure that that can continue through time. Now, of course, it's a lot based on the people management as well. And we know that Pep and Fergie are two leaders who have managed to create these incredible cultures within the team. And it's actually interesting to hear how they've done that. I was listening to an interview with uh, Fergie the other day and he was actually talking to Gary Neville. He was talking about the importance of having players that aren't just talented, but that also have a really strong work ethic and how that actually contributes to the overall culture of the team and therefore the success. And so with City, arguably, they have some of the best players in the world right now with Haaland, De Bruyne, John Stones. And for me, I'd be wanting to know what is next. How do they make the culture that Pep has created future-proof so that when Pep does step away, whether that be in 25 or sooner or later, that their success can continue for seasons to come. And I just find that really interesting because in football teams, it appears that the structure is quite linear. So you have the football manager who is managing the players. And of course, as coaches and physios and, and other people that are as part of that team, but there's a real strong relationship between the manager and the players. And then, of course, they're having to manage up as well to the CEO, to the owners and other stakeholders who are involved in the buying of players and the financials of the club. But I feel that what we don't see as much, and it may be my lack of understanding of the sport, but there's not quite such a clear structure in place as you would find in a business where you have processes and technologies and risk logs and infrastructure that allows you to manage making sure that the culture, the strategies are future proof and don't just rely on, on people. Um, and of course there needs to be strong leadership across the entire business and with all of the stakeholders so that that can continue um, when people are promoted and step up or when people move sideways or step away into other businesses or parts of the group. So for me, I'd be really keen to understand your thoughts on what City could be doing now or what should they be doing now to ensure that that success continues when Pep moves away. I'd love to hear your thoughts.